Today's secret is about the secondary condenser. We have two different ones. One is the V condenser, which is this one, which has coils inside, and this one, which we call the C secondary condenser. We use this for dry ice, for example. So it will just be mounted like this over here. Both secondary condensers are there for one reason. We don't want to have emissions into the atmosphere. So we want to keep all the solvent vapor condensed and then in the receiving flask. That's the main reason for the secondary condensers. For customers who already have a V710 or a V700 secondary condenser, V or C, they can actually just use the same condenser again, but they need to purchase a compatibility kit in order to mount the old condenser onto the new vacuum pump V300, V600. I will quickly show you how that looks. So that's how the old secondary condenser looked like. We had this special area to fit it on the V700, V710. And now it's actually very simple. You just uh, take these four screws off and you mount it to this part of the legacy set. And then it's actually very simple to mount on the V300 and it's compatible like this. In summary, the secondary condenser is especially well suited for customers who are not so experienced and have still a lot of vapor after condensation in the rotary evaporator in here as well.